Hey guys, it's Otom here, and welcome to WillYouPressTheButton.com. Now, <laughs> I played Would You Rather, I think it was like, I don't know, three, four days ago, and people really liked it. I didn't expect people to like it that much, because it was literally just me answering questions, but people liked it quite a lot. So I was like, you know what, um, I'll play Will You Press The Button, especially because it was, like someone said in the comments as well, you should play Will You Press The Button, and that comment had like three likes, so like, that's four people, unless they liked it themselves that wanted to see this game. But anyway, uh, sorry I've been gone for like the past three days. I'm not well. I'm still not well. Uh, so I thought I'd play this because it's pretty chilled out. I didn't really want to play a horror game because obviously then I'd be screaming and my throat already really hurts. So I don't want to be screaming. But anyway, let's get on with it. So, first one. You can fall in love with the woman or man of your dreams. Sounds good. But, your country's leader goes crazy and leads to your country... Going into chaos, leaving you stuck there. Li this spelling is great. To live there. Stuck there, living the rest of your life in poverty. So you're with the person you love of your dreams. Um, I mean, yeah, money's not everything, right? Stuck there, living the rest of your life in poverty. So you, it says poverty. It doesn't say like you're ill or in danger. It just says poor. So I'm going to have to go for yes. 36 okay a lot of people didn't press that button uh you have to rate it to move on i guess so yeah oh good the adverts are back well someone's getting free advertising <laughs> it took me literally about 20 minutes to get rid of the adverts because i was clicking on this x and then like oh the ad covers the page and then it was like yeah there you go close an ad anyway i had to do that but it wasn't giving me the option for like 20 minutes like it took so long to get rid of the adverts. And it looks like they're just going to keep coming back. But anyway, so, next question is... Well, it's not a question. We kind of, anyway, you know what I mean. You can fly, but... Buttons blind you if you look directly at them. I mean, there's a lot of buttons. And does it mean buttons as in, like, this kind of button that you push? Or buttons as in, like, on your shirt? Or just any button? Like, what does it mean? Also, no, I won't, because if it means buttons like pressable, that means I can never play Xbox again. And I mean, technically, keys on a keyboard are buttons, so... No. Oh, my God, it looks like these people are getting some good advertising. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Ah, oh, right. You can bring anything from your imagination to the real world whenever you want. You can bend reality. It's kind of like two things, anyway. But you're alone, you're powered... Your power don't work outside your room slash house, and you can't leave it. I mean, that that kind of contradicts itself, because you, you can't be alone if you can bring anything from your imagination into the real world. Because you can bring a person, so then you're not actually... Like, you're technically alone, but if you can bend reality, that means that you're making your imagination real, and then there's a person, so you're not alone. So yeah, I'll press that. You can make the inside of your house be like a million miles wide. Oh my god, too many adverts, please. I didn't like that one. That was a shit question. Didn't make sense. See, this is one of the adverts that I can't get rid of. So if you want a degree in any of this bullshit, go do that. Except don't, because this advert's annoying me. So don't support it. <laughs> Fucking adverts. Anyway, you gain unlimited teleportation powers. That's pretty useful. You could get a lot of shit. There is a child... I'm guessing they're supposed to be chance. There is a... Blah. I can't fucking speak. My throat hurts. Right. There is a chance something will be missing when you land. Ranging from your phone to one of your limbs. Okay. That's not good. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> That's just... There's too much of that risk. You could teleport once and lose, like, a leg. It's just... It's not worth it, is it? I mean, you could just be a little, like, stumpy thing with no, like, arms or legs or anything and just teleporting around. But what the fuck's the point of teleporting around if you can't move when you get there? Like, oh, I've teleported to Egypt. I've always wanted to go here, like, up, oh, but I can't fucking move. You'd have to teleport, like, instead of walking, you just have to do, like, loads of little teleports. It'd be just, it'd be shit, so no. I'm going to say that's bad. That was a bad dilemma. Don't care about it. Right. Next question. By the way... My mouth is like dry and my throat is sore because I'm ill. So if my voice is all sticky and gross, I apologize for that. But anyway, moving on. There's no adverts on this one except this shitty advert that no one cares about. 
<laughs> right, you can read anything, any language, even music. That's pretty good. Especially considering you'd be like world famous. You can't write anything by any means. Who, who gives a shit about writing? If you could read anything, like anything, you would be famous because like old ancient languages that have been lost and no one can like translate them. You'd be able to look at it and be like, oh yeah, that says you're a knob, you stink, like or something. And then someone else could write it down for you. You'd be like the world's leading translator, with loads of money. Who the fuck needs to write? You can just tell someone else what it says. So I'll press that button. What? 55% did not. You don't need to write that badly. It said writing, not typing. Technically, they are two different things, so you could probably still use a keyboard. They, they have loopholes in these things, all right? <laughs> all right, next question is, you get your own TARDIS, but the cloak cannot be the same as the Doctor's. What? Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be nerdy here. The TARDIS doesn't have cloaking because the cloaking's broken, if I remember rightly. And if I want to be even more nerdy, I think it's something to do with... It's something called, like, the Chameleon Matrix is broken in the TARDIS and it can't cloak. So the TARDIS can't cloak anyway. So, yeah, obviously I'm going to press that. It's fucking TARDIS. Like, you can go anywhere in space or time. That's literally, like, the best thing. Why would you not do that? All right. Next question is... Is Tom going to drink? And the answer is yes. Ugh. I should not be talking this much. <laughs> but I felt bad for not uploading. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty chilled. Like, I could be screaming right now from a horror game. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I'm not. But anyway, so you're stuck in a zombie in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. Not on the edge. You're not at the end. You're not at the beginning. You're in the middle. Smack bang in the middle. The worst part of the apocalypse, I'm guessing, is what that means. But... You get to assemble your own elite zombie hunting team. See now, as fun as that sounds, it's not going to be like in the games. You'll probably just be dead. I don't care how elite you are. If there's a thousand zombies, you're going to fucking die. So I'm not pressing that button. Wow, a lot of people press that button. Oh my god. So many people are getting free advertising right now. Although I suppose if you was playing this, you'd be seeing these adverts anyway. But I'm just going to stop. I'm going to not even pay any attention to them. I'm not going to take no notice. All right. Barack Obama dies, but Poland starts ruling the world. How is any of that good? Like, I'm not saying that, you know, Poland ruling the world would be a bad thing. Well, I am, but not because it's Poland. It's like any single country ruling the entire world is just a bad decision. Each country should be in charge of their self. But this first option is just like, what? No, just no. That was a terrible fucking question. Ah, oh, right. You can go... Let's just let's forget that question even happened. Like, that was just shit. There wasn't an upside, unless you really hate Obama, but I don't personally, so... I mean, I don't really follow American politics. All I know is that Obama skateboarded into an interview and danced once, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and I know that Donald Trump takes the piss out of disabled reporters. Because that's been all over the news recently. So, that's all I know about American politics. Oh, and that George... George Bush was a bit of a knob, from what I've heard, but that's all I know. And that Abraham Lincoln was a president. But anyway, I don't know why I'm starting a history lesson. Um, you can go into the future. I don't know why I started off that sentence with like a full stop after every word. You can go into the future or back into the past, but, 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 you have to stay there and there, oh my god, you have to stay there and there never will be a way to send you back to the present. I mean, so it's a one-way thing. You you can you do it once. No, that's shit. No, why would you want to do that? That's just terrible. What you would not want to stay there. If you went to the past, especially, you would not want to stay there because you know all the fucked up shit that's about to happen, especially like with like you know world wars and things like that. If you go back too far, you're pretty fucked. Especially if you went to like dinosaurs. Oh, I'm gonna go back to dinosaurs and like not realizing you can't come back, and then you're just like, well. I'm fucking being stamped on by a T-Rex and now I'm dead. But <laughs> there's not much you can do about that. Ugh. Right. Will you press the button if your mum lives until you die, but your dad dies right now? No. What the fuck? As if 6,000 people... I suppose there could be people that really hate their dads. 
or don't know their dads, I suppose. But I personally know my dad because I'm lucky, and he's a nice guy because I'm also lucky. So I don't want him to be dead. You know, as much as it would be nice for your mum to be alive that long, I wouldn't really want my dad to be dead like straight away. So anyway, you get to be a famous musician, but people see you the way they see Justin Bieber. Right now, the thing is, a few years ago. This would have been a lot worse because recently I've noticed people are starting to like Justin Bieber because his music music is getting better. But I still no, just no. <laughs> just just no. <laughs> Literally. I mean, yeah, his music has got gotten better recently according to everyone. I, I personally don't really give a shit. I still hate him. I don't know. He just he's an arrogant prick and uh, when people showed me that like some of my friends showed me the video of the whole court case thing when he was getting like, I can't remember what it was about now, but he was like, some lawyer, attorney, whatever guy was like questioning him, and he just kept going, I don't recall, I don't recall, and it was just really irritating the shit out of me, and so, yeah, he's just a cocky little prick, Justin, if you're watching this, which I doubt you are, mate, sort yourself out, anyway, <laughs> right, Morgan Freeman, who is the top man, by the way, We'll read you bedtime stories. Now, that is something I could get behind. <laughs> but Justin Bieber sings back up. Now, by sings back up, I'm guessing that means after every sentence, he will re-say it. So, I'm going to have to go for no. As much as Morgan Freeman is a cool geezer, I'd have to say no. I'm sorry. Right. How, how long have we been recording? We're on about 12 minutes. So I'm probably going to wrap this up. I'm going to do a couple more questions because... <clears throat> because my throat's starting to hurt and these just I don't want it to go on too long because it's it's not like the most exciting video in the world, although I thought that last time and then people enjoyed it. But anyway, you finally get the famous celebrity you've worked your whole life for on a hit TV show, but you fall in love with your married co-star. See now just because they're married it doesn't mean <laughs> I'm not saying it's right, but it doesn't mean you can't, you know, whatever. You you know what I'm talking about. You, you know. <laughs> I'm not saying it's the right thing to do, but you could still do it. I mean, like, their husband, you know, or wife, if, you know, if you prefer that, isn't there. They, they can't do anything about it, so... There you go. Right. Will you press the button? If Pokemon exist in real life, that's... See, the, if you think about that properly, right... <laughs> Pokemon would be pretty fucking dangerous, especially the ones that, you know, breathe fire, and there's, like, the snail one that Makargo, I think he's called. Like, it, the description says it, he's, like, burns at, like, 2,000 degrees, which would mean you went, would, I can't speak, what's happening? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I'm just sitting here, like, uh, Makargo uh, snails. I, I don't know what the fuck is happening to my brain right now. Just, just calm. Calm. Alright, there's a Pokemon called Makargo, it's like a lava snail thing, and it burns at like 2,000 degrees. You would explode into a puff of ash if you went near that. And I don't mean ash as in like ash catching, I mean ash as in you're fucking dead. So, no. Because, just no. Pokemon are just bad in real life. They would just, they would kill people. Unless they acted like the program, but anyway, that's not what it said. It said Pokemon exist. Anyway, so, you can run or walk on water. But you have to be nude every time you use the ability. I'm going to leave this one to you because I need to end the video before my neck explodes and my brain just falls out my ears because I'm just turning into like the world's biggest idiot right now. Like I just can't seem to speak for more than 30 seconds straight without like just getting muddled up and going like just I can't. I just can't speak. So I'm going to have to leave it there for today. Um, but yeah, I'll leave this question. Let me know in the comments. Would you press the button if it made you be able to run a water? run or walk on water but every time you did it you, you have to be naked so i mean is it you could walk across water all the way to another country but you'd be naked the whole time i mean there probably wouldn't be that many people if you was in the middle of the ocean so let me know in the comments below what would you do would you press the button or would you rip the button off and flush it down on the toilet never to be seen again let me know uh but yeah let me just have a quick drink before my neck explodes again like i said and that'll be it for today so 
Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Add the video to a favourite, so I'll share it on Facebook and Twitter. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. There will be more of this if you want it. I could play more. There's obviously a lot more questions. Um, and I also play other indie and horror games too. Any of that stuff's mess really appreciated, and I'll be your super best friend if you do any of it. And, yeah. Oh, I just punched the mic. And, uh, yeah, again, thanks so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next video. And goodbye.